Okay, so I think we're uh, live and I'm recording this. One, two, three, four, five. Five people so far, we're hopefully. Okay, let me just grab Jacob's resume. Five people. That's that's uh, that could be better. Um, so how's everybody going? Okay. I'm not hearing anybody. Let me just. Uh, check that my sound and everything's working check 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 check, check. Yeah, that seems to be working Okay, so let's start, even if we don't. Can somebody just try saying something just to, or let me know in the, the, the text. Uh, channel, whether you can hear me. There we go. Okay, so we're just about ready to go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six people out of ten. Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody can hear me now. Yeah, we good? Yeah, yeah? we can hear you. Yeah, good, good. I <laughs> The other day I, um, I was on, it was actually Zoom rather than Discord mm -hmm. all day, and then um, I, I shut things down and uh got back on it and nobody could hear me and i couldn't figure it out the the only thing that fixed being able to hear it was uh, uh going and rebooting which was a little annoying okay so um i'm hoping that uh everybody's got their yeah jacob's got his um, I think I'm missing two in the two uh, resumes in the appropriate format. So if uh, the two people that I I didn't submit their resumes in PowerPoint format, can you please take some time now and uh, fill in the the template that I I asked for um, in the assignment. Okay, so that's where we are, and what I'm what I'm going to do is today is talk about project relevance and talk about um, I'm going to get you to quickly talk through each of your resumes because we did a bit of introductions last last week, um, but what I need to get to is and um, about the sorts of skills and the sorts of interests that you have with respect to the capstone project because what we're doing in this first half mm -hmm. pretty much of the semester is figuring out uh, what we're going to build what mm -hmm. we're going to make and um, there's 
uh, that could be just about anything, right? There's there's lots of stuff that you're you're capable of, um, and the aim is to work on this until uh, December. So I would rather have everybody working on something that they're interested in, that they're keen on, um, to get done. And uh, so that's why this first half of the semester is about fleshing that out a bit. Um, and the, the easiest place to start is with you and uh, the resumes. But we'll talk about that shortly. So that that's the um, that's the overview that I, I stole from Professor David Broderick, and uh, I've been using to explain the process for the Capstone One CET four um, um, work, and we're still in the concept development phase. There's four phases in this simplified product development or process, capstone process, concept development, preliminary design, prototyping and detailed design, and then finalizing design and prototype. And a lot of companies that do product development have something similar in terms of process. They have the ideation, the idea generation, the concept development up front, and then they have a little bit of a fleshing out of that to see whether it's viable, both technically and financially, and also sometimes organizationally. And then they move th to the more um, technical aspects of actually getting it built in prototyping and then finalizing. So the reason companies do that is they often do a lot of concept generation up front. The trouble is a lot of companies have too many ideas to be able to take all the way through to final product or take only the best ideas from concept development and move them into preliminary design. So sort of what we're doing in Capstone is I'm getting each of you individually to come up and then we'll do a, so that that'll be 10 um, ideas. And then we'll um, do a down select about halfway through the semester, this semester, um, to pick the, the top three or four ideas. And uh, the aim then is to form teams of three or four. I prefer not two. Um, two is sometimes a little too small. Um, but we'll, we'll see what uh, how the interests mm -hmm. and the projects fall out before we decide what the numbers. Um, I probably should should include this slide in the in the introductory slide um, deck. This is a, a thing called the design V. <clears throat> and it's a way of thinking about how to get from the idea to the released product. And I'm, I've tried to identify with the, the um, braces, the blue braces, where each of the four processes um, that Capstone uses fall um, in the, the design V. So up in the top left, um, we have the uh, concept development, and then we have preliminary design, and then we have um, prototyping and detailed design, which is effectively implementation. And then going up the right-hand side is, is all the testing and making sure things work, which is finalizing the design and finalizing the prototype. Okay. Um, I think I'm still missing a couple 
of these resumes. So what I'm, but what I'm going to do is I'll, um, uh, like I said, if you submitted something out not using the PowerPoint template, please uh, see if you can quickly get that into shape, and uh, I'll and upload it into into Blackboard, um, and I'll. Otherwise, I'll just show the, the ones that you submitted, but I do want your resumes in um, PowerPoint at some point. I've just put these, I think, in um, alphabetic order or an order. So uh, let's, uh, let's, what I'll do is I'll get each of you to unmute and quickly talk your way through your resume. So first off the block is Fahim. Can you uh, unmute Fahim and uh, talk about what you're interested in? Um, yeah, for sorry to be saying late, I have trouble with the internet a little bit. That, that's OK. So um, I got to talk about my resume. Um, my skills, you know, state and I manage real estate and I have a job and convenience too. And the same time I, we work as a team in this place and I maintain how to communicate with the customers, how to build good relationship with the customers and how to raise the sales for the business, like about 20% from till now. And other skills is, you know, I help people who's come from Middle East, translate with them in the immigration, hospitals, hmm. and other needs. Um, same like I say, Mars, and communicate with the workers and good for the business to increase the sales um engineering companies i guess take this measure because i'm interested in when i was young but i didn't have the opportunity to continue in college so i'm back now in school to do the engineering and i already wrote down the courses I take, some of them, I, I don't write, and I'm interested, you know, to play with Arduino, you know, Arduino, try to, sometime with Java, you know, build codes, stuff like that. And my hobby is soccer, walking in the summertime and the winter time because I don't like winter time. <laughs> okay. And the summary? Hmm? Go ahead. All, you know, I'm senior at CCSU, and it's like I say, measuring in computer engineering technology. And I hope after I graduate, I find a job because that's my interest to work with engineering. Okay, that sounds really good. Um, so, one thing we'll we'll find um, as we when we form teams, Fahim, is that. Um, we want to each team member to understand what their role is. And just from what you said about your um, non-technical expertise, I think one of the roles you may be suited for is the, um, the project manager or the project lead. Because oftentimes you need somebody who's good at organizing in order to, uh, to get um, the product done. So, uh, no, exactly, you know, what project we decide or you decide to, to work on, but, um, just something to keep in mind. Thank you. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's move on. Next up is, uh, Kyle, Kyle Bechtol. Can you, uh, give us, uh, a summary or to talk about your resume, please. Uh, engineering student. Uh, um, currently, I'm working as a 
CNC machinist at a shop in Meriden. Cool. Um, I went to high school, uh, technical high school for that. And uh, then I started getting more interested in computers after that and decided to go to college for engineering. Um, I'm really interested in networking and security coming at it from that point of view. Um, that's sort of what I've taken a liking to in the field. Um, uh, I've taken some Java courses and uh, learning Python. Um, there's a lot of good used for and it's gaining popularity. So it's just something I want to learn, have another skill that I can take somewhere and hope to see. Yeah. Um, as far as skills go, um, I'm really good team skill, uh, a team player working with out of like the lead in my area. I've got a couple people who work with me and, uh, you know, we collaborate to work on drawing up blueprints for certain parts that we have to get out and, uh, to, uh, execute those blueprints. Um, you know, uh, I'm really good at what they're doing as well as not being afraid to ask if I'm stuck on something, you know, always looking to learn as much as I possibly can. Um, yeah, my other interests during this pandemic, something that, um, I like to game. I've been doing that my whole life and, uh, German shepherds, I have three of them and, uh, we like to go outside, go on hikes and walks and, you know, do all sorts of fun stuff like that. Very good. I, 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 re I, I have one dog and I, I, how you manage to, maybe they, they maybe they feed off each other. The, the... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're great together. You know, they, they all kind of, that's kind of how it started. We got one and then it was like, well, she needs a friend. So we got another, let's get one more. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. Thanks, Carl. So let's, uh, next we up, we have Eric. Eric, would you mind uh, talking to your resume, please? Sure. I, um, I'm Eric. I, um, I, I went to a regular high school in Windsor Locks, and towards the end of my senior year, that led into some graphic design courses and photography. I pretty much did everything in our tech department at the school, and 